we are going to discuss something about retrosynthetic analysis so let us see what is retrosynthetic analysis right so retrosynthetic analysis is mentally breaking down the molecule into starting molecules so let us see with examples i will keep on explaining see here we know that if a chemical reaction goes like a plus b these are the reactants right so these are called as reactants when these react to form product p this is called product right this thing we know but in retrosynthesis what we do is we have product from that we try to analyze the reactant that is how this product is formed from which analyte this product is formed so what we do we know product and we won't call product in retrosynthetic analysis we call it as target molecule tm tm stands for target molecule right and this arrow represent retro retrosynthetic arrow this is nothing but retrosynthetic arrow right so these these are the starting material so in retrosynthesis what we do is we have got the target molecule for you we find the reactant molecule how we got this target molecule that is product that is nothing but retrosynthesis so the starting definition tells us that only mentally breaking down the molecule into starting mo molecules right so that is nothing but retrosynthesis synthesis let us see one example right so here let me take this 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 is the example let me have it ph o po ph right this is the compound next what i will do i will do retrosynthesis so this is nothing but retrosynthetic arrow let me write here initially let me write further it is under retrosynthetic arrow this how we will represent like this only right so what happens here i can break this molecule like this here this is the breaking i am doing so what happens phenyl group ph oh right if i break it will become like this this plus here it will be co ph and here cl so these are the starting material and this is my product right here we call it as target molecule so this target molecule that is product is formed by this reactants this and this when this react with this will get this product right so if i want to write the reaction how i will write so so reaction will go like this initially i will take this compound to this i am going to add like this compound right so what happens this lone pair will attack here this again comes back and chlorine is a good living group it leaves the system so i'll get this product ph ch2o co ph right this product so we know this reaction right so if we add these two we get this product but in re retrosynthesis what we do is for, we, we have got this uh, compound how this compound is synthesized that thing we are going to study so we make use some uh, some of the basic chemistry idea to find the reagent then we can conclude that this product this product is formed from these reagents right like that it will help in uh, na uh, natural product synthesis because in the plants plants or trees what happened we extract something so here let us assume that this is this compound which we have extracted but we try to synthesize this in lab so what we do we do retrosynthesis so what happens this compound we guess that it it has formed from these reagents right so from the chemistry idea and retrosynthesis idea what we do we take all these reagents and we try to react to get this product if we got it successfully then it is understood that what we have retrosynthetically shown that thing is true right so let us see few more example for this ret retrosynthesis right so here i have got one more molecule see here i hope my hand writings are clear here right so this is one more molecule so here amide bond is there and here as usual benzene ring 
which is substituted and this is our target molecule let us see we have started something and we got this target molecule so we do retrosynthesis so what happens is that here i'll break like this so this is the retrosynthesis so what happens here no2 is there and then this will break like this co cl right here to this and h2 and here it is benzene ring right so if i react these two compounds i will get this product right i will get this product so this is nothing but retrosynthetic arrow and this is the target molecule from target molecule i i can easily syn synthesize this reagents right so if i react these two compounds right these two compounds if i react i will get this product right so easily we can tell about that so this arrow the arrow which we show like this this is nothing but retrosynthetic arrow right so this is retiro synthetic arrow right so let us see one more example right so here i have got this h o and here one two next carbon here a minor group is there n n and here this one so here what happened this is retrosynthetic arrow here see here also i can break this cn bond right see this cn bond i can break once i break what happens see here h o c o c h 2 c h 2 o plus i can write here right so here i can write plus here and here n minus 1 h will be there here i have forgotten n h so here n like this so these are see here this is cat ion this anion in uh, uh, common chemistry we call these as intermediates right intermediates but here in retrosynthesis we call this intermediates as symptoms what we call these things as see here what i am going to write synton s i n t h o n in retrosynthesis we call these intermediates as synthones right so here what are synthones synthones are nothing but like intermediates only from that we can get this reagent see here what are the reagent to get this uh, synthone so it is nothing but ho co ch2 ch2 co cl see here cl is a good living group if if it left the system this carbon this carbon gets positive charge which i have shown here here right similarly here what happens here the synthone the equivalent will be this one n h will be there here negative charge will be replaced by one more hydrogen right so these are the synthone equivalent reagent we call them as reagents right these are equivalent to this synthone this is the equivalent symbol with three lines right so what happened see here this is retrosynthetic arrow right so what happened uh, i i took this target molecule target molecule i did ret retrosynthetic arrow and i got these synthones synthones are nothing but same as intermediates right so from that i ca i calculated the reagent equivalent reagent these are the equivalent reagent right so if i want to write the reaction now i can easily write so this we got in natural product synthesis let us assume that so we got this uh, reagent so what happens in lab what we do i will take this compound hco h2 ch2 co cl to this i am going to add this nh2 n methyl right so what happens here the reaction goes like this cn cl is a good living group it left the system and we got the product so product will be ch2 ch2 co nh a minor group i formed and this is the product we got right so this is product whereas in retrosynthesis for to make this reverse so we call it as target molecule so this is the basic thing of retrosynthesis right so in retrosynthesis what you need to remember we call intermediates as synthones that thing also you should remember right so let us 
see one more example right so this is also very interesting see here here what is this this is phenol right so this is substituted phenol amide group here acetylation has happened right so this is para what is this acetamol right this should you should know so here what i will do this is retrosynthetic arrow and here cn bond is i am going to break so this is the cn bond right so what happened see here oh aniline i'll get with the para position oh group is there right and here this i broke right so here it will be like co plus will be there so i will directly write the reagent cl here we in some times we can write if they ask in exam to uh, discuss something about synthones then only we write like uh, see here like this we, we, we will write plus here uh, otherwise we can directly write the equivalent reagent that is this one and you may ask me why only you are writing cl here why not other yeah we can write other things also like see here co bromine we can write iodine we can write good living groups ots these are the good living groups we can write sometimes if conditions are mentioned we can write esters or also oet these are esters r co co o r dash right these are esters here oet is also good living group but we never write like this compound these are the basics you should know now there is no thing to explain this because see here nh2 is a bad living group we can't write a synthone this is not the equivalent synthone why it is not the equivalent synthone because nh2a nh2 is a bad living group because why it is a bad living group these things let me write here nh2 here see here here lone pairs will be in resonance so what happened because of this resonating structures this bond will be very strong and also this carbon will not be that electron deficient not that electron deficient right since it is not that electron deficient the incoming compound like this substance this nitrogen will be more basic compared to this oxygen right so this nitrogen can't directly attack this uh, this 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 carbon as it is not that electron deficient but here what happens see here here in this in this compound what happens is that because of chlorine is a electron withdrawing group electronegative atom this carbon will be more electron deficient so it will be more electro positive so this lone pairs which are electron rich compared to this oxygen this nitrogen will be electron rich so these can easily attack and i will get this starting material product so these things are the basics you should know that right so this is about retro synthesis i hope you got it right so uh, about synthones synthones everything right synthones are there donor atoms are there that thing i will discuss with the time right since this is the first class let us see only few basic things right so here one synthone we discussed so this was the synthone right so this equivalent reagent i told like this cl since it is a electron deficient it is good living group it can leave the system and it is electron deficient so it can do the work right so this is nothing but synthone what kind of synthone it is see here plus charge plus charge means it is electron deficient electron deficient means this we call a call it as a1 synthone right so this is we call it as a1 synthone right there are also some electron rich synthones see here right here this is electron negative atom negative charge is more so its equivalent reagent will be simply acetone only acetone is the equivalent reagent why it is because see these protons will be there this will be more acidic why it is more acidic because alpha position to this proton there is electron withdrawing group so it can easily break this bond so it will exist like this see here minus that will be resonated o minus double bond because of which what happens is that acetone is the the reagent for this synthone so here one i can write to this carbonyl carbon two to this so this is called d2 synthone what stand for a, a and d you may ask me right so a means acceptor a stands for acceptor acceptor means it will be electron deficient it will be electron deficient 
why it is electron deficient see here since it is electron deficient it can accept the electron rich that is Levy's base it can accept right those which have got lone pair of electron those it can accept so these are called as acceptors that is electron deficient what are donors here this is the donor right so this is donor so what happened here these things will be electron rich see here this is electron rich so it can give its electron density to some electron deficient so since it can give it is no, called as donor and here one which is electron deficient let me take like this compound this is electron deficient it can take this lone pair right because it takes so it is called as acceptor and this one two stands only for the position see here this is first carbon here if i mark it as one so it is called as a1 symptom here see here this is one and this is two two position electron rich so it is called as d2 synthon i hope it is clear about synthons also synthons are nothing but the reagents sorry i mean the intermediates and equivalent reagent we will we will only find because we have till now we have got sufficient chemistry knowledge and we can easily determine the reagent right so let us see few more examples so see here so here chlorine is there here also chlorine is there and here oxygen to this h2 COOH right so here I am going to do retrosynthesis so what I am going to break always you remember that while breaking we should break this heteroatom oxygen is a heteroatom this is carbon right this is carbon we can break this bond only you may ask why we can't break this bond right see here what happens if I break if I break like this I will get this compound negative charge it is very difficult to form these compounds we can form from Grignard reagent RMJX we can form no doubt but here this will be little difficult right but here if I break like this you can see here see here what happens here chlorine is there here chlorine and here oxygen oxygen gets negative charge right and here CH2 COOH so this CH2 gets positive charge these are the synthomes right so this this synthone is equivalent to how I can can I do right right like this see here chlorine I can take here and here oxygen to this if I add base I will get this only because base can extract this proton H plus right and this equivalent synthone will this is synthone and equivalent reagent will be like this CH2 COH is there and here I can put bromine right right so these are the what these are nothing but the uh, reagent I got right so this reagent and this is the target molecule this is our target molecule TM right so let us do the reaction see here now we can do easily the reaction right so how we will do starting I will take this reagent so here chlorine is there here also chlorine is there and here phenol OH and here I am going to add base something say NaOH only NaOH so OH minus I can write NaOH means Na plus OH minus will be there right so this OH minus so what happens this OH minus takes this proton so what happens I will get this compound O minus and here Cl Cl as here I will take one more reagent that is CH2Br COH right so here what happens this is a good living group bromine so it leaves the system so it can attack so simply it is SN2 reaction it is simply a SN2 reaction so what happens see here I will get this product Cl Cl O CH2 COOH so our target molecule was the same right so this one was the target molecular molecule so I got the same target molecule right so this is about retrosynthesis I hope you got it why only we add chlorine why not other things that thing also I have explained right so let us see few more definitions which we use in this uh, retrosynthesis right which I have written here right so let us look, it, look into that so first one is retrosynthetic analysis what is retrosynthetic analysis it is nothing but mentally breaking down the molecule into starting material that also I have explained 
so we will have this product from that we will mentally break it down and this is nothing but retrosynthetic arrow and we we will determine the reagent from our chemistry knowledge that thing i have explained so so that thing is nothing but see here retrosynthetic arrow it is a re indication of backward reaction and how we are going to show that retrosynthetic arrow will show like this right so this is about retrosynthetic arrow next target molecule this target molecule also i have explained what is this target molecule let us see that definition the molecule to be synthesized is nothing but target molecule that thing also i have explained i call this as target molecule see here here also i call this as target molecule why i call this a target molecule because this molecule i am going to synthesize by this reagent see here this is reagent 1 and this is reagent 2 i hope you are seeing the cursor and this is nothing but retrosynthetic arrow right so about target molecule also i have explained so disconnection i didn't tell anything about di disconnection but i explained it so what is this disconnection see here so this nothing this is nothing but disconnection this arrow see here if i have got ph ch2o co ph then this arrow is nothing but disconnection so i am going to disconnect it right so this is nothing but disconnection the process of mentally breaking down a molecule into starting material that is nothing but discussion disconnection so synthon synthon i have explained it synthons are nothing but only these are same as synthons are same as intermediates in common chemistry but here we call it as synthon idealized fragments resulting from disconnection so if i do the disconnection see here this disconnection if i do so what ha happens i'll get ph right ph ch2 here plus i can write here o minus co ph these we call it as intermediates but here we call it as synthons synthons and i told these equivalent will get the reagent right synthon equivalent will get the reagent so let us see the definition of reagent also so what is this reagent reagent are nothing but real chemical compound used in synthesis so these are the intermediates or we call it as synthons this can't be used directly right so what are the real uh, reagents we can use we can use like this compound ph ch2 br it is a good living group it can leave if it leaves the system this carbon gets positive charge right so i'll get this synthon and here i can make use of this oh acid benzoic acid right this is benzoic acid to this if i add small base like sodium bicarbonate it will leave this h plus and oxygen gets negative charge this will react to this carbon and this bromine will leave the system right so i'll get this synthons so what all the things we discussed we discussed what is retrosynthesis first we discussed retrosynthesis then uh, target molecule disconnection we discussed retrosynthetic arrow we have discussed and synthon and reagent in next class let us see few more things till then 